Buddy, how's it going? Uh, welcome back. Last week, that was embarrassing for me. I think that's the worst that I've ever shot on camera. I just missed stuff that just, there was no concentration there at all. But I got a really, really good tip and I practiced it a little bit to be consistent. And, um, and I actually got this one from email and the other one actually was uh, from a comment a month uh, a couple of weeks ago on one of my videos and uh, let's see how I shoot tonight if everything works out I'll let you know at the end because I practiced a couple of times with it and uh, it made a whole lot of sense to me while I was doing it so uh, I'll let you guys know let's see what happens What are you painting, Lexi? Sylvia from Pokemon. Alright, right, Daddy will be in the car. I'll be right back. I'll have give me half hour, okay? Hey everybody, so since my daughter is gonna be at this birthday painting party for the next three hours, I'm gonna go sit in my car and uh, record my week six commentary. Let's go. Alright, so this is how I'm doing it. I'm taking my daughter's phone and I'm going to watch my video on this phone and then I will record it on the phone that I'm recording this on now. Here we go. Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, so today I play Andy and uh, I do apologize if my throat feels a little scratchy because I was just getting over a cold and I did come out with a little bit late this video because it's just been between busy and being sick. Oh, I was horrible. So let's get this started. So this is uh, week six and uh, Andy, I, I've seen Andy shoot a couple of times before and he usually shoots on the nine footers and uh, he, from what I've seen, he was pretty decent. And uh, so today we basically play even five and five, five on five. Uh, no, I'm sorry. He's ranked five and I'm ranked five. So we play a race to four. So I was looking at while well, he's running out here and I'm looking at the table. Besides, the only hope that I had is that one that's being locked up. I do like his shirt though. I don't know what that's called, is it Hobbs or whatever that's pissing? <laughs> So over here, he's trying to stop that cue ball, and that's a very tight window, trying to get to that four, and he put a little draw on it. You know, he's got problems. He's putting a little spin mass A to try to make it in. At least he touched the ball. So it's my turn. I'm looking at the layout. And again, uh, I, I tend to, if you guys are thinking I'm rushing it, I'm actually not because I am cutting out the parts. I do take a, some time to study the, study the layout before I shoot. And I do not like jacking up on balls. There's a little cut. I was looking at this, cut it in and break those, break my trouble balls up and which I did. So my tape, my balls are now, I got lucky with the leave and uh, we, we're also breaking that out. So I really have no trouble balls now. But it also doesn't mean that I'm gonna run out. Here, I just wanted to stop it and I wanted to go up a little bit further so I could get straight in on the side pocket. But since I didn't, I'm going to hit this one and draw back just a little bit.
and I put a little too much on it. I definitely did not want it to go that far out. Now I got a, now I got, I'm gonna lose the cue ball control a little bit here. So here I was trying to put a little bit down, come down off the rail, draw back up. Now here, I do have an easy shot into the side pocket. Not easy, made the pocket a little bit smaller. However, I can't get to that eight ball all the way down on the other side. So what I decided to do is uh, to kind of bank it and let the cue ball drift up. Bank it across side and let the cue ball drift up. Because the other way, my cue ball would be down here. There's nothing that I could do unless I completely fired it in and put something nasty on it, which would probably make me miss. And I just missed. And it was a bad, uh, also bad speed. Hit it too hard anyways. Nice combo by Andy there. And Andy, I was talking to Andy. Andy's such a nice guy. He was a lot of fun to play with as well. He's, I just told him, you know what, you, usually you're supposed to mark the pocket where you're going to make the eight, but I just thought, let's just call it. And he agreed. So here, that's actually a pretty good break. I think he hit it a little too hard there. It's okay, he had that safety ball right there, the green one. And what's funny with me is, I call those stripe balls, besides the nine and the 10 of the blue, the rest of them I haven't really memorized yet because I don't really play eight ball. I've been playing a lot of uh, nine ball. So, oh, he overcut it there. So I know the colors for all the one through nine, but when it goes to 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, I, I don't know exactly the colors that matches the numbers yet. So I'm just calling out the colors right now. So here he left me in the middle, a uh, pretty open spread. Take the one, go down. And I was looking at that, uh, my, my trouble, my mo most, excuse me, my biggest trouble ball was that five ball. And I'm gonna take care of it right here with that combo. And I did mean to set that five, set that cue ball up for that combo. So here, it's not. The, I wanted to put the cue ball, draw the cue ball a little bit with the angle back to the middle, so I have a. So I have an op options here and I put it right in the middle and here I also wanted to keep that two ball up in the right hand corner top right corner there leave it there because that's going to be my setup ball for the eight on top left a little bit hit it come off the rail and when I came off the rail I also wanted to make sure I didn't go too far out back towards the other rail so I would have a hard time controlling the cue ball and having to cut that ball into the bottom right the four ball so right now this is perfect. And you would think that I should be out from here, right? One off.
So right here I'm looking and it looks like I already looked at this for a while and I cut it short and I'm looking at the bottom ball on the bottom rail. The I believe that's the four ball and uh, what I've already had in my mind that I'm going to stop it right there, come back, come down and cut the uh, four ball in and it's going to come back up and hit, uh, come off the rail and hit that. Uh, I think that's the 10 ball. The, his stripe ball and use that to stop my cue ball that way I have a shot for the on, on the five in the other corner and knock that 10 ball out towards the rail however I did not hit it hard enough and it's stuck now my two balls in trouble I just hooked myself so here I'm looking I go oh man okay if I made the five ball over here that two ball I'm not gonna be able to run out so what I decided to do is call this bank and draw it back. Try to get fancy with this. Call the bank, draw it back, and break those up. Huh. Semi worked, only if I made it, but I did not. Now with this one, what I would have do is I would have put a uh, bottom left a little bit and come back out towards the middle, but he decided to play the other way. Because I would have came back out and hit that 10 ball in the bottom and try to... Yeah. He wants to cut this. Tough shot. Only shot I have is that six and I needed to come back I put a little top left a little bit on it I probably should have just put top on it but I put a little top left and came back down I just needed to clear his ball and come down and see the five ball which I did And I was so straight on, I just had to just float it forward and uh, play the long shot on the two. Now I was looking over here, I want that to go out. Instead of trying to put bottom right on this and come around two rails and out because I had to hit it harder, I just decided to put, uh, I, think, I think just a little bit above top, one tip above top and try to go between those two balls. Oh, which I, I which I actually did. Not too shabby. Watch the eight on the side. Uh. Nice eight ball break. Now that one, I think I hit a little bit too bottom on the cue ball because it came off the rail and came back. Which what I want to do when I do the second ball break is hit the cue, hit the second ball, come off the rail and back into and back into the rack. Now, I was looking over here about that five ball. I'm going for the solids, and the five ball is the turbo ball. So here, I put top right on it and broke that up. And here, I'm looking at, I needed to put top right on the cue, uh, on the cue ball to shoot the five ball in and have that cue ball come in between those two, just float out between those two stripe balls. Now here, I was looking, okay, if I cut the two in, uh, I'm, I'm going to have, I'm going to lose control of the cue ball. So I'm going to hit the six and use that to run into the other ball to stop it. His ball, excuse me. 
I was I was worried that his ball wasn't gonna clear for my uh, was that the four ball to come down this side. So this one, I wanted to cut the two. I I I really thought the angle was gonna be good enough to hit the eight and just leave it solid there. But overcut it. Well, not overcut it, but the cue ball didn't go where I thought it was gonna go. And now I got a little angle here. I decided to take the three in the side. And here, I'm just going to let the cue ball fly. And that it did. This is now pretty wide open for Andy. Oops, give me a chance. So here I'm just looking at putting a top left, following down off the rail and kicking back out for the eight in the corner where I'm at. Yep. The match would have been over right there. That one, I do, I, I do believe I didn't really take my time on. Ah, should have been over. It's a good cut right there. Let that one slip away. Ooh. Some cue ball action on that break. I think I just hit that a little too hard. I just wanted that cue ball to drift up to the middle of the table. Because I knew that those two balls right there, they were pretty lined up for a combo. So I didn't really need to try to break that out. I'll cut the seven in the side there. Now, this one, I wanted to put bottom right on it and just exactly like, like that. Come off the rail and come out to the middle. This one, I do believe I put top right. I wanted to come off two rails. Now this one, I'm already looking. I have already decided that I am going to be playing that. I believe that's the four ball. Come off the rail back to make that one ball in the top corner. Come back and keep the cue ball on the left side of the i wanted to keep the cue ball on the left side of the five ball and cut uh, kind of bring that in and run the cue ball into their his two stripe balls 
right kind of like like that which was kind of perfect could have came out a little bit further but i'm going to cut this five down in the corner and use his cue ball his i'm not his two strike balls to stop my cue ball to either make the eight in the side or you make the eight in the top right hand corner Hmm. Well, the cue ball did what I wanted it to do, but the five did not cooperate. Hmm, a little too thick. That one, I probably would have put, took the corner one first and came back around and repositioned to get that, to go for that nine. Because you got to clear that ball off with the eight just in case you get, you went a little too far. So this one, I wanted to tap it, come up right there, exactly what I wanted to do. this straight in mm. son of a and again I let another one go right there Just play it off the rail, come back, perfect. That's another one. That's a good break. So I'm looking at this rack, okay, at least I'm going to get a shot. And he miss. So now the ball, the table's still open. So I have it. I get, I get a choice. And I decided to go for. I could have taken the nine ball, but uh, I think that what this one would have been a lot. The solid would have been a lot easier to break out. Yep. That was that was right in dead center pocket. I thought it would have drifted a little bit more. Now I got lucky right there because that was a pretty much a, a, a run out and uh, just hit it a little too hard. So you gave me a chance. This one I looked at for a while. I really did.
So what he was trying to do, he was draw back to play the seven in the same pocket. And that should have been over, but he just caught the edge. Here, I call a defensive shot and uh, I wanted to put that not, put that strike ball up to the right and leave the cue ball down below here. And uh, I thought it was going to hit the rail, the, le the left rail. And uh, I knew it was going to touch the eight ball a little bit, but I didn't know it was going to hit it that hard. So now he's trying for a bank. Even if he made that, he would have had a tough shot with the uh, one ball. I called another safety here. Now, I wanted to hit, I have to hit a rail, so I hit this forward a bit. I wanted him to be able to shoot at the one, but not at the seven. So I just pushed it up just a little bit because they say you got to dictate what you want them to shoot. Now, if I completely locked him up, he could have shot all the uh, around. He would have shot uh, off the bank and didn't have to go for the one. And uh, I would have, even if he missed, I would have still had a problem with that strike ball. So instead, I had to have him see that one ball and hopefully that he would have took the bait and went for the one, in which he did. Here, I'm going to hit the side, uh, cut that in the side pocket, drift down into the three and shoot that nine ball on the other side. Hit it a little bit too, too light. I needed that cue ball a little bit further. That way I could have followed it. Now I'm aiming because I'm worried about the cue ball scratching in the, in the top right hand corner. So I had to put, I wanted this to come off. I put top left on this. I wanted it a little bit top left and I wanted to come off three rails back out for that 10 strike ball. And I hit it a little too soft. If it came out a little bit further, I would have been fine. Now, I'm calling another safety. Put that cue ball where it's at, perfect. Now, I wanted to hit that uh, red stripe ball down and hit two rails and come out and leave it right there so they would have no shot. But it th that did not come out, but come out as planned but uh didn't it worked out decent now what he's trying to do is cut that seven ball off of his one because that's a hard that's a straight cut off of the one into the side and he had to put a little oomph in that because if he didn't it looked like it was going to go straight into the bottom right hand corner so with that little oomph uh, he lost some control and uh he scratched on the eight ball I, man i hate winning like that hey john how do we do tonight we whipped ass. Hulk day? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Okay, so I missed a couple of shots that I sh that were pretty easy that could have ended the set pretty quickly, but uh, I just I just missed. And uh, the tip that was given to me, it helped. It helped a lot with the speed and more consistency with my pocketing of the balls. Uh, what they were telling me is my bridge, the distance between my bridge to the ball was all over the place. And I was really, really far away. And this is what people have noticed. I was really, really far away or I was really close. And uh, that messes up with your speed. So you really, really got to pay attention to your the distance between your bridge and your ball and control it that way and once I started concentrating on that it made uh, the, con the speed control of the cue ball much much better so uh, I do have to thank you guys for giving me a tip on that one I did miss a couple and again I did miss a couple that is um, I should have made and should have ended the set and I almost let it I, I should it should have been done for one, but I really, really messed up on the, uh, on one of the, I think it was a seven ball. And then I missed another one that's straight into the side on the eight. And I missed that one too. So, um, and again, but I did pull it off. Not my best, but I'm starting to feel a little, little bit better with the uh, cue ball control. So, uh, that's good. Well, anyway, thanks again, you guys for, uh, following me and, uh, I'll see you guys in another week or so. Peace.